If you like to see how different settings in the video control panel affect performance, you clicked on the right video. Because in today's video, I'll be comparing image settings, quality versus performance. So sit down, strap in, let's go. Right guys, as mentioned in the intro of the video, what I'm gonna be looking at today is the setting um, under adjust image settings in the video control panel. When you use my preference emphasizing and you can set it to other performance balanced quality. So my default settings um, is performance because then it switches off all the optimizations in the beginning of the video control panel such as anisotropic filtering, anti-aliasing, and then further down, um, it, it changes texture filtering, negative load bias from a light to clamp. So just to show you what it is, okay, I've got it on performance, but let's set it to quality. Okay, now when you go to manage 3D settings, you see anisotropic filtering is on at times eight, anti-aliasing FXAA is off, anti-aliasing gamma correction is on, Override any application setting is under anti-aliasing mode and then anti-aliasing setting is times four um, And then once you go down by putting it onto quality texture faltering neg negative load bias is set to clamp So um, unless you got a strong GPU most people are probably just going to use performance But I thought let me just test and see what the difference is. I have actually done this video quite a about a year or two ago I thought I'll touch on it again but guys, before I get to my results, if you subscribe to the channel, please just set all the notifications to on or to all so that you are notified when I do drop a new video. For those of you that aren't subscribed, um, if you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing at the end of the video. And then on my homepage, there's a whole bunch of optimization to get and go through those videos. But a full CPU optimization guide, this is how to unlock under vaulting for 10 gen and newer. And there's how to unlock undervolting for 9 chain and older and then you can just go through these videos here but guys you click on this video to see the results so let's get to it so under nvidia control panel as mentioned performance versus quality mode so um I'm not going to waste too much time here all games are tested in medium settings i do test on a gtx 1650 laptop so the games from this year are generally set to low with the exception of Resident Evil 4 Remake that's a mixture of medium, high and low and Hogwarts Legacy is on medium. Everything else is on medium. I use FSR 2 or 2.1 uh, on quality. As mentioned, I test on a GTX 1650 laptop so your results definitely will vary if you do, uh, if you do game on an RTX card. Um, and then lastly, I am using the latest NVIDIA driver 546.01, not the hotfix, because I think the hotfix is pretty trash. But anyways, let's get to those results. When I set the NVIDIA control panel to performance, and bear in mind, this is not a changing texture, filtering, blah, 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 blah. It's all my default settings, but just setting it to performance under uh, image settings. Um, when I, over, I think I tested 16 games here. Over 16 games, when I add up all the average FPS, I get to 1,000. When I add up all the 1% lows, I get to 761. And then when I add up all the 0.1% lows, I get to 638. So um, I think most of you are probably going to be using the performance setting, unless you do have a, a stronger GPU. Um, the, the visual improvement is little bit but it's not worth the performance drop unless you do have stronger equipment because when i set that when i set that slider to quality you'll see once i add up all the average fps's i get to 954 so over 16 games that's a drop drop of 46 fps average then when i add up all the one percent lows i get to 726 so you can see that's roughly 37 fps drop in terms of one percent lows so your games do become less stable but obviously if you've got a stronger card this is going to be less noticeable and then the 0.1 percent lows go to from 638 to 603 so that's a drop in 35 fps in terms of 0.1 percent lows so guys if you have a strong card uh by all means go and use uh, uh the quality setting in the nvidia control panel because it is going to give you a slight visual uplift and 
uh, yeah, the performance hit for you is not going to be as big as it is for me on a weak card. But for those of you who are uh, gaming on weaker cards, I do recommend the performance setting. Because obviously at the end of the day, you're getting better average FPS, you're getting better 1% lows, and you're getting better 1% or 0.1% lows. So, yeah, just a little interesting little test I did. The reason I'm going through the NVIDIA control panel, um, the different settings, is because I am building up to the best NVIDIA control panel settings. Uh, just bear in mind, this is probably going to be more in line with people who play single player games because those are the only games I play. But, um, yeah, so you can see I've got quite a couple of NVIDIA control panel uh, type videos that I've got planned for the next while. But, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video be sure to smash that like button if you have any questions please hit me up in the comment section if you're still watching and you haven't subscribed as of yet now's the time to do so guys it's thursday it's almost time for the weekend it's people like you cheers